In this video, I will show you how you can transform a normal text to this kind of flashy effect. Alright, let's start off with creating a new file and let's go for print. And let's do a 5 here. This is 5. Now let me put this in clockwise. And for the background, I want to use something dark. So usually what I do is I just search on Google for grungy background. So grunge wallpaper, for instance, and just put something in the background. So it isn't one color. So this is fine. Let's see. Let's put this one here. And this is good to see the effects better because if you have one color, it's kind of difficult to sometimes see the shadows or something. I think this one is fine. Let me download this one quickly. Right, so let's put this here. And now we can type our text. So let's make it white first here. So we can see this good. And just type any text you want. And let's make this big. Now there's a little trick that you can do when you do editing with text. And that is what I always do. I always put this in minus. So instead of zero, if you put this like maybe minus 50 even, it's a bit too much for this one. But usually if you have like normal text kind of font, put it in minus 50, something like that, it will look better. It will look more like a logo instead of like plain text. So I'm just going to use this one. Now, the first thing to do is to press right mouse here on the layer and go to blending options. And in blending options, we can apply all effects. So let's first work on the color of this. I want to change this. I don't want to have it white. So let's change this to normal so we can see it good. And here we can set the points. Now, if you want something like maybe silver, let's do some gray here. Let's make another point and let's select another tone of gray here. Another one again and just pick some different tones here. So they don't look the same. So you don't have one color and this will make it look more realistic like silver, right? So don't make it too white because you can see here it's a bit too white now. So I'm going to slightly change this one a bit darker. It's the other side. This one maybe a bit darker like that. So this is fine. Now, next thing to do is add a drop shadow here. So it looks more like three dimensional. Let's give the opacity all the way up and let's change the angle here. So it goes that way, right? So let me first put this like that. And I think this looks fine. It's already three dimensional. Now, the next thing to add is a bevel and emboss. And here we can slightly give it a bit of a, like a stroke on the outside of this. So I'm going to do this slightly here. Maybe let's zoom in so we can see it better. I don't want to have it soft because when it's too soft, it looks cheap. This looks really cheap, right? So you want to do this really small, maybe one or two, something like this. And you can increase the white so you can see this better and we get this nice touch on it. Now let's, the black we don't need to. Let's remove the black, maybe just a little bit. All right, the next thing here is the inner glow, and this is where it starts to look really cool. This is usually what I like to do when I did some graphic design work for events, flyers, stuff like that. I always use this effect. And let's increase this one. Let's see. Let's leave that overlay. And here you can see we get this nice touch around the text, and this will make the text look really cool. And let's try something else. You can even try different colors here. But because we made it silver, I want to keep it white like that. Let's leave it like this. Press OK. Now, if we duplicate this layer by pressing Command J or Control J, and let's remove the layer, the effects that we applied, so clear layer style. So it's all white now. Press right mouse and rasterize this layer. So it's a layer that we can adjust now. And if we select this tool here, we can make a selection and I want to create some sort of reflection in it. So I'm going to make like this selection and it has to go somewhere through the middle and this will be the reflection, right? So this is fine. Release it, press right mouse, select inverse. So we select the other part of this. And if we press backspace, we can remove that one, right? So we get this nice line, but I don't like this line like this. I'm going to press control I or command I to make it black first. Then go to blending options again, or just double click here. 
and remove the fill opacity. So we don't see this layer, we only see what we are doing here now. And here I wanna apply a gradient again, and this time I'm gonna select this one. So we have one side no color and one side a color. So I'm gonna do black here, and let's also do this one black. And make sure the angle is right. So we wanna make sure it starts from the top here. Let's put it at 90. And here we can set this. Let's see if we can slightly make it better. Just like that. And we have already something pretty cool. Now, here I can also apply the inner glow if you want. This will give another look to it. So usually I play with all these settings to try and make this better. Maybe this is even cooler. Maybe something like this to make it more three dimensional. But I think I like it like this. I'm gonna leave it without the inner glow for this one. Now let's give it a mask and select the gradient and get rid of some parts on the bottom, just like that. And you can see how cool this is. And now if I go back here, I can slightly adjust these settings again to make it even better. Now, the next thing I would do to this is I would add some glow to this. So for this, I can just create a new layer and then select the general brush, soft round brush, select the white color and just make these dots. And if you have opacity and flow at 100 and hardness at zero, you get this soft little shiny bling effect to your text. This is what I did for a long time when I created flyers for events in the Netherlands. And this is usually what I did for almost all the events as the main, main title, the name of the party of the event. So this is really cool if you maybe some visiting cards, you wanna have it shiny like this, you can do it like this. Now, if you wanna have colors in your text, this is like silver whitish, you can use different kind of colors here, but you can also just create a new layer on top of this one and pick a color here, maybe something a bit more yellow goldish. And create a clipping mask so it only goes inside this text. And now you can just brush on it like that. And this will change the color of this. This text, maybe you like it more like this when I have some colors in it. And try out different colors to make it a bit different. Maybe not that one, but if you wanna stay in gold, keep it in the range of this gold type of color. Right, so just like that. And if you want to have your text really shiny, search on Google for a lens flare, something like this. Change the blend mode to screen and just put it over your text and you can see how really shiny your text will look if you do this. So don't do too much of these, maybe one or two. Of course, you have to get rid of that part here. Just duplicate it and put it on another side. Maybe like this, and you have some cool shiny text effect, and this looks pretty neat. Maybe what are those? Right, so this is pretty easy, and this will make your text look really shiny for graphic design. There's one more thing you can add to this, and if you add a curves to the text above the text layers, make sure to press this, and if you play with the settings, you can see here how you can easily change the color of this. So if you give it a lot of contrast, you get this nice, color tones here. You can eventually even change the colors by playing with these settings here. So this is pretty cool to get some nice contrast in this. So it doesn't look soft, but you get this really hard color. Now the last step to do to this is to make this text look three dimensional. So if I select this first layer of the text and I select here, rasterize layer style, it's gonna get into this 3D type of thing. And here if I, change the opacity of this one. I can make it look a bit more better like that. So that's pretty much it. That's how easy it is to create this type of effect. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and see you in the next one.